hello everyone uh, welcome to splunk guru so in our recent videos we have seen uh, about uh, implementing the splunk clustering right whether it's single site clustering or multi site clustering so but before implementing the clustering the important thing that we have to take care is uh, configuring the license manager that we did not try to do in our uh, past videos past sessions we simply saw how to like what's the clustering how to implement it and uh, we tried multi site clustering as well so all what is working fine as expected but in the production environment when you are onboarding the your application logs or any kind of logs obviously you will need the license right and there are various kind of licenses so based on your requirement you can uh, procure the license from splunk however the question is after procuring the license once you receive the license file how to configure that so you must have heard about the component called splunk license manager so that's one of the components that we discussed in past as well Uh, like license manager cluster master deployment server indexers search head forwarders universal forwarder heavy forwarder lot many components are there in splunk environment so today we are going to see after procuring the license how we can configure it so basically the license manager configuration and uh, later we will configure our peer nodes and the other components in this splunk to make them the client of the license manager so those the other nodes are going to be the client of your license manager all other nodes will be reporting to your license manager i am not covering anything about the licensing uh, i mean just a quick uh, summary on that so licensing basically how how much data you are ingesting in a in a calendar day right so now i mean splunk has come up with lots of uh, different kind of licenses now so you can opt out based on your requirement basically like volume based license then the low uh, user based license so there are various kind of licenses you if you go through the splunk's official documents you will get to know still if you need me to uh, cover up the different kind of licenses the difference between those which one should you opt out if you have any questions like that you can just let me know in the comment box i will we will discuss that in a separate book, video in that case but just for your information license is nothing it's based on like how much data you are, you are going to ingest in a calendar day so before implementing your splunk environment obviously we will know uh, how much data you are going to ingest in a splunk in a day right so based on that calculation you are going to opt out your splunk license and then after receiving the license file you will have to configure it and then let your other uh, nodes in the cluster uh, in in your distributed environment to report uh, those nodes to the license manager okay so now you might get the question like why are search heads and the other components in splunk has to be the client of your license manager because ultimately your data is going to reside on the indexers right so why do you need to configure licensing on your uh, search heads deployment server master node so the reason why do need to why do we need to configure licensing on all other nodes as well because if you do not configure the licensing if you do not make them the client of your license manager instance right they are going to be act as a free uh, like the trial license only so the functionality what you expect them to so uh, that's going to fail in that case because ultimately your trial license will expire in 90 days of time and then it it's not going to provide you all the functionality right so if on the search head your searches might not so lot many issues will come in and as a compliance as well in a distributed environment it, you would need to make sure that all your instances uh, reporting to the license manager so that's the reason we need to configure licensing on all other nodes as well uh, not just the indexing layer okay so here i have put in one small diagram uh, just to give you a reference how we are going to configure it so if you see here this is the first node 
and this one we are uh, not the cluster master this one we are going to configure it as the license manager and then we will have master node somewhere here so all these indexers will be uh, managed by this master node here right so we have this indexer 1 indexer 2 indexer 3 and we have two search heads search head 1 search head 2 so we are going to make this instance as the license manager uh, we will configure our license here so whatever license we prepared we will configure it here on this instance and then all these peer nodes peer nodes nothing these are the indexers so these will be reporting to this license manager similarly these search heads also will be the client of this license manager node so that's how we are going to configure it and there are obviously two ways to do it you can directly do it using the splunk web or you can uh, directly using the cli as well you can do fine so having said that let's jump on to that how let's see how to configure the license so okay so to configure the uh, license manager i have deployed few instances in aws cloud so you can see one is going to act as a license manager another one is cluster master and three peer nodes two search heads so these instances have uh, uh, provisioned in aws cloud and splunk is already installed in all of them so let's try to configure the license manager first so if you go to front end of this machine uh, to access this Splunk web uh, you won't see any license configured as of now so let's check that okay so by looking at this instance now you won't be able to identify whether it's the license manager or if any other splunk component right and to verify that whether the license is configured or not just go to settings and licensing you can see it's part of the trial license as of now free license group so there is no licenses configured as of now so what we will do we will configure this instance as the license manager and uh, as i said earlier there are two ways to do that uh, so either you can use the cli so splunk add licenses and then the location where your license is uh, located so you can uh, put it anywhere in your splunk instance and then you just need to provide that path along with the license file name or you can use uh, a splunk web uh, to to configure the license manager and peers so these commands what you see here so this is to configure the license manager using the cli and the, this is to configure the uh, your uh, other clients which are going to report your license manager using the cli so these are the cli commands either using the cli or uh, by directly configuring using this plug where you can configure the license manager and its clients fine so let's go to the front end of your license manager as of now no license is configured here but we are going to configure this instance as the license manager so let's see how to do that so we are going to do it using the web so when you click on add license so before i do that let's go to the back end of this instance and to let you know where the license file stores here on this plunk once so it's configured so if you go to opt splunk etc licenses like your splunk directory installation directory inside that if you go to etc licenses if you see here it, it has just the trial version license as of now no enterprise no uh, non-product license nothing is configured as of now so let's configure the license now so i think i have one test license let me see if that works So you select the file and click install. Fail to it. Okay. So this license is expired. 
So let me see what I think I have one non-prod instance, uh, non-prod instance license. Let me see if I can configure that. But problem with the non-prod uh, instance is the trial license is that I won't be able to show you how to configure the clients like the other nodes, how they report to this master node. Okay, that's fine. I mean, the process remains same. So let's configure this license manager for now. Okay, so now you see the new license was successfully added. So now this license has been added, right? So what you need to do, you just need to restart your Splunk. So you can just click here or you can go to your backend and execute the restart command. So once this restart completes, you will be able to see your newly added license there on the license manager. So that's how the license manager configuration happens either using the Splunk web or by using the CLI, you can configure the license manager. So once your license manager is configured, you can configure your other nodes, your clients to report to start reporting to your license manager. So for that, as I said, and I'll show you, uh, I mean, obviously I won't be able to do it because I'm using the non-prod license now. So I won't be able to show you like how it uh, works exactly. But the process, I will walk you through the process, like what steps you need to follow to configure the clients to start reporting to your license manager. So let's wait for this restart and then go back to your Splunk web and uh, see what changes you see there. Fine, so this is done. And now if you go to this ETC licenses, right, you will be able to see this enterprise license file that we added just now. Even on the front end, if you go, Okay. And if you go to licensing now, you can see Splunk Enterprise term non-production license. So this is the license which I added now. And you can see that it's 50 gig uh, license, which is valid till August 24, 2025. So now our license manager is configured. Now to configure the peer nodes, your clients, like other components of Splunk to start reporting to the license manager, what you need to do, for example, if you go to this cluster master, right? So what you need to do, okay, let's go to front end of this cluster master first. Okay, log in and then try to configure it as the peer node of your license manager. So here if you go to licensing, you get an option to change this license type to the peer, right? So if you click on this, it means you are going to start reporting this Splunk instance to another license manager, so which we have configured here. So after procuring your license, you will configure your license manager and then let your other Splunk components start reporting to your license manager. That's how it works. Now, here you can see it's part of trial license group as of now. So either you can click on this change to peer and then you just need to uh, designate a different Splunk instance. So because we are going to use another instance as the license manager, so you just need to select this option and you need to provide here your master license master uh, node IP and then the management port. Once you provide that and say, it will configure it as a client node of your license manager. So this is the one way. Secondly, you can do it from the backend as well using this command, which is Splunk edit licensor local peer and then manager UI, which is your license master IP and then IP or host name and the management port. So let's try that uh, from the front end. Obviously it's going to fail, I know, because uh, I configured the non-production license. So let's take the IP of license manager. Go to cluster master, provide the master node IP and the management port 8089. And if you click save, it's going to fail. 
the license does not support being a remote master because that's the non-production license right so you you can just use it for your testing purpose but it won't let you to configure it as a uh, remote uh, license master or because in that case you can start using it in your production environment as well right so that's the restriction with the non-prod license and that you get for free actually you can request and for your learning purpose you can start using that so this once if it's the enterprise license this you won't uh, get this error and it will configure it as a client node of your license manager secondly what you can do from the back end you can run this command opt is plunk win and then it's plunk edit license edit licensor local local peer so i p i think i have this one so you just need to get that here along with the https license manager ip and then the management port well invalid so it will ask for the credentials username password and as soon as you provide that it will configure it but in our case it's failing because we are using the non prod license so that's how you can configure your license manager and other uh, nodes to start reporting to your license manager in future if i get another uh, trial license or if i need test license i will show you like i will walk you through once again on this license manager configuration process how to uh, get it done so i hope the steps are very straight forward must be clear to each one of you if you still have any doubts about licensing how should be configured which license uh, should be opt out how to calculate the sizing before of procuring the license if any kind of questions if you have just let me know in the comment box i try to uh, get back to you as soon as, soon as possible okay thanks for watching uh, i'll see you in the next video thanks